Hello everybody, welcome to my channel, my name is Alicia, this is Mark and Yariana 3 and I was honoured to play Tiara Bling in the Next Step Season 8 but it's time for Season 9 and we're moving on and this is my reaction to Season 9 Episode 3. That is going to become a script for every video now so just learn it and you can join in with me every video. Like I said, we've just reacted to episode two. Because I haven't uploaded it yet, I, I'm not able to see what you guys thought about it as well and discuss the comments like I did at the start of my reaction to episode two, talking about episode one comments. Try not to spoil anything in advance because like, I don't want it to be spoiled. I am already sick of the spoilers that CBBC have spoiled. <laughs> like, But this episode, is called setting the bar and the description is the competition is tough in the first round of auditions and Heath struggles to focus when he's in a group with someone he can't trust so I'm guessing Heath is going to be in a group with Grace I do feel like Kenzie needs to wake up a little bit and so does Anthony now because Anthony knows that like Ariana was kind of planting seeds in people's heads she is Presley's sister they're all aware of that so they must be aware that there might be some kind of tension there that she's not at the next step she's at a rival studio. Kenzie also acknowledged the fact that Grace is scheming but overlooked it because she was like oh well she's scheming to benefit her team so it's okay even though her team is not the next step. And also I need to see Nick because I don't know where he's gone. He wasn't in episode two, he had no lines in episode one but let's watch. Love or so yes, I have high hopes already for this episode because I just love auditions at the next step. I love the dancing, I love seeing all the talent, I love how fierce and intense it gets and I love playing along and picking who I would choose to make it and then suddenly being heartbroken when they don't. <laughs> it's hard for me to be here. I'm still dealing with some stuff, but since everyone's spots are up for grabs, I need to re-audition to stay on A-Troop. Hello Pete, love that. Pete, a funk dancer now, not a hip-hop dancer, I think I'd agree that Pete is a funk dancer. I wish Pete would talk to me. He's pushing me away and I don't know why. I don't really know why either because as we've discussed, we think we know the reason that Pete's sad because CBBC did a behind the scenes and Ben was talking about the reason he was sad, but that could be a different reason he's sad. So it might not be the exact same and I'm hoping it's not, otherwise I already know it. We're literally dancing for our lives today. Do you really think Kenzie would just replace us with someone who didn't win nationals and break up the team chemistry at the same time? I don't think so. No way. Well, she did in <laughs> when season eight started because she got rid of the people that were on the team. You being serious? If Grace wants a tube to kick Ultra Elite's butts again like we did at nationals, then I'm happy to do it. I love Daisy and Heath's friendship. It needs to stay like a friendship. I like it. But it's making me upset that I know that Melody's not in most of series nine I'm guessing because she's not in the A-Shoot lineup pick. Are we getting rid of Daisy? Does Daisy not make, oh, why am I getting emotional? I don't, ah! I'll be back. Oh. <laughs> That's funny, classic TNS, just slight humor. How are we just forgetting about nationals, Kenzie? I didn't forget about nationals, but some of these ultra elite dancers are really talented. Oh my God, I forgot. Ultra elite hid their costumes, didn't they as well? Grace was on that team. I completely forgot that. So Grace and Ariana both have like, they're already in the bad books. They're not just on a rival team. They did try and sabotage the next step before and Kenzie's already acknowledged them scheming. Heath is clearly the only one who's awake. If we want to win internationals, we need the best dancers. So yes, I'm choosing to trust them. I think Niall is probably the strong, from what I've seen. Niall is one of the strongest that I've seen. He's not ultra elite, he's the next step. Trust the next step. Well, we have that one common goal of wanting to win internationals. All of the rivalries will be forgotten. I need you to try and trust them. Also, they keep saying how like they're the rivals, they're a different team, we need to trust them. They're not acknowledging the fact that Grace used to be on the next step, is now on a rival team, and is now trying to get back on the next step even though she sabotaged them. Like, it's only really Winnie that's acknowledged that Grace used to be at TNS. The others are kind of just treating her like she is a rival. She's, she's not just a rival, she's a rival that moved from your studio as soon as there was an offer to move and left you high and dry. Because didn't they then have to replace Grace? My goodness me, there is so much more to this story. But I hope you're right. I will try to give Grace a chance. But I'm gonna keep an eye on her today. Because if I'm right and she makes a troop, it could be a total 
Disaster. Yes. Please keep keep your wits about you, Heath. Also, I'd like to say I really like that we're not getting a White Wall intro yet because I only like the White Wall intro happening once A Troop has been established. I mean, fair enough, they could have done one with the current team, like have Jude and Dylan on it, then remove Jude and Dylan, like they did, I think it was season three or six, where they changed it lots and it was really interesting. Um, but because they've already posted pictures of who the A Troop lineup is, I could probably tell you right now who's on A Troop. So it's not even, it's not even suspenseful. There's no jeopardy. Like I know Ariana's gonna make it. I know Grace is probably gonna make it. I know Niall will make it. Um, Adele will make it, Hattie, Olive will make it. So, like, I usually love audition apps, but it's already been spoiled. And it's not even like I've looked at the spoilers. They've posted them. <laughs> the, the picture for this season is a troop. I'm Adele. I haven't been having the best time at Ultra Elite, and I've been looking for a fresh start. Hi, Adele. I also hate when they do this, when they introduce the new characters with a whole talking head. There's no point doing talking heads for people that don't make the team, so this must mean Adele makes the team. Ruined. <laughs> but Adele seems cute. I like her tone of voice. She seems very gentle. I'm Olive. Adele's my best friend. I just really want to go to internationals, and I want to keep dancing with Adele. So here I am. Olive is so cute as well. Who does Olive remind me of? Someone. I really like the makeup this season as well. It's all very natural. Everyone looks young and bright and glowing. So first of all, it's Eldon. This is a very select group. So you are the best of the best. Congratulations on that. It doesn't mean the best of the best. It's just, you don't want it to be an open call. It's just TNS and Ultra Elite. Oh, for the first round, it's gonna be the small group choreo round. I'm gonna split you into groups and then we'll get right to learning the choreo. I would have loved it if they threw in some more J Troopers too. Like have really small people, children, have like have children there and have more people that are clearly B Troop as opposed to Ultra Elite. Like maybe Ultra Elite could have all walked in together to a room that's already TNS and they could have all had the same kind of look on their faces. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I asked Eldon to help judge the auditions today. He's eminently qualified, and with all the drama between these troops, I thought it would be good to have someone objective who can focus on just the dance. It's so nice to see Nick doing his job, but like, where was he when it was being decided that they're gonna do auditions, you know? It would've been nice if he proposed to Kenzie, oh, I could get Alden in, and then Kenzie's like, oh, that's a really good idea, yeah, and then there's a little bit of backstory on Alden. I don't know. I'm Anthony. I'm Adele. No way. Adele, Anthony, Ariana, it's a good sign we're gonna make A Troop, right? All our names start with the same letter, we're pretty much the A team. <laughs> we're just ignoring Jet standing there. Okay, Anthony. Hey Adele. Wow, it's nice to see you too. Yeah, I'd rather not talk to you today. Okay, you really need to stop holding this grudge you have against me. <laughs> it's not a grudge, i just rather not have toxic people in my life anymore. Anthony and Jet should be like, taking note of this tension between them and be like, okay, something's going on. How am I supposed to be cool when I'm auditioning for A Troop? And yeah, who got you this audition? Me, so please do not make me regret this, so. Ethan and Niall are like, they've got like a sibling relationship, but I think it would be a good idea if, if, if we had skipped those two scenes in episode two where there was Ethan and Niall when they did a dance and when they were in the cafe and Niall was dancing because it would make perfect sense for it to just go from the first scene they did into this audition scene. And then maybe instead of those scenes, we could have had Nick. Hi. Hi, Grace. Should be fun. Fine. It's a shame that Heath and Grace don't get on because they have a lot of chemistry. <laughs> I would ship them if I liked Grace. I wanna take the next step down. And what better place to start than removing the heart of the team, Heath. I'm going to make sure he doesn't make a true. No, you leave Heath alone, Grace, or I am coming for you. Oh, it's good to see Nick is doing a lot at the back there. <laughs> Maybe he should be making notes, and then like, even though he doesn't have the dance experience, he can be like, these people seem to be very engaged, and they were listening, they were asking questions. Kenzie can make notes on the dance side of things, and Alden can take it as like, who picked up his choreo the quickest. Open, down, top, top, circle, down, together, front. And after that, you make it your own, cool? So, group one, you're on the floor. They haven't even rounded it with the 
music. <laughs> Sorry, if I was in that audition room, I'd be like, hmm, excuse me, can we, can, we, can we go back? Can can someone please run this dance with me? They didn't even do it full out. They just, they, he just marked it. They didn't even do turns. He just said, you do one turn here and attitude, attitude. What, what? Eldon, please, can we cater for everyone's needs? Sorry, if Jude was still auditioning, Jude would not be able to pick that up that quickly. And that was another thing raised. Um, after episode one, Lily said they needed to have a really quick turnaround for Step Inside 2 and Jude said how she watched all the videos of the rehearsals and she could pick it up really quickly. Jude has always struggled with picking up choreography quickly and I think it would have been a good idea if she'd not said this but then auditioned for Lily and Lily rejects her and says we need someone who can pick up the choreo quickly literally in a couple of days and I don't have the faith in you to do that because of your past experiences and because of your dyslexia you know it's not a weakness so to say but it is gonna be something they need to bear in mind and she's just not the right fit at this time um and then Jude has to stay on age group I think it would be it would also be quite realistic because Ultimately, it is a part of Jude that is going to be factored in to when she gets acknowledged to do certain things. Like if you only had, if you were only a contemporary dancer, but you wanted to stand in for a hip hop dancer, they're going to be like, well, you only do this style. So even though you're eager and you want to learn it, I don't have the faith that you are able to do it to the standard that we need. Like, I think that would have been a really good idea to add to episode one. Why is Kenzie in the office? So, but Nick's standing in the studio and Kenzie's in his office instead. Have we even got the Union Jacks in the office still? Like, is it Nick's office? What's going on? She didn't even watch them trying to learn the choreo and like, she's got to pick the person, but she hasn't even watched any of it. My grandpa died. That was the plot that was established in the behind the scenes. So I was a bit worried that it was going to be that. Obviously, Big condolences to Pete. I'm very sorry that his grandpa died. I do wish it had been something mental, though. I think it'd be a really good opportunity to do it and to have it last a bit longer. Like, it really throws him off his dance game. And maybe Ariana and Grace target him because they know that he's, like, a little bit vulnerable this time around, which obviously is horrible, but it would be really good plot-wise. And Pete just loses all confidence in himself and... I think it would have been good, but I don't know how they're going to play out this grandpa death thing. And if, like I said, Pete's grandpa was like a parental figure to him, obviously that's huge. Like, totally get it. So we will see. The only thing I'm think, like relating it back to is when in season seven, Amy couldn't go to something because of the camping trip. I don't remember what it was. Um, and it was really bigged up like someone had died. And then it just turned out to be a camping trip. I didn't want it to be like, we're building this up like, oh my God, something's really going on with Pete. Like he, he can't dance, he can't be in the same room as people. Um, and then it just turned out to be something trivial. So hopefully it's not gonna be that and it is gonna be serious still. And then I will be fine. But yeah, that's just the direction I wanted it to be taken in. My grandpa got really sick and passed away when we were at nationals. My family didn't want to distract me while we were performing. So I didn't find out until I got back. Oh, that's really sad. I'm glad I shared what was going on with Kenzie, but I don't really feel any better. I don't know if there's anything that can make this feeling go away. I get it now. It's kind of like if he's there, it kind of brings about the fact that things are going on in his life without him. And he's going to have some sort of like grievance against A Troop for taking him away from family because if he wasn't on A Troop, then he could have been with his grandpa. I get it. Ta -da. Yeah, okay, cute, but I was thinking something more like... Okay, look, that's not exactly a part of the choreography. <sighs> yeah, Alden said, put your own spin on the choreo. Alden was like, first group take the floor. Did Alden not say that? So I thought they were going to do the dances. Or are they group one, and it's like they're, they're having their time in the center of the room, just so they have space? More specifically, teaching Niall how to do this. I can do that, but better. Ethan wants to go move for move against me. Ethan, calm down, please. Two, down, three, four. Okay, I couldn't see it, but it sounded awesome, yeah? We're doing awesome. For now. Is Grace gonna pull a Stephanie and like, when they take to the floor, just completely bomb the routine? Quote from James. Also, Jan, Brad, Grace, I have a little idea. 
How do we feel about a turning section? Wait, they're all Ultra Elite with Heath. I feel like they definitely should have split Ultra Elite up between the groups, had TNS members in them as well. Because, like, props to Heath, because he's dealing with three people who are on a rival team now. But if they were all evil like Grace, he's got no chance. If we put a turning section in the dance, we're making it to the next round for sure. I'm not doing it. <laughs> She's doing this to make me mad. I know it. This is exactly the kind of shadiness I expected. But if we don't do that, maybe a lift? That's even worse than the turns. Grace, please say something like, don't drop me if you have to do a lift. Yeah. Are you trying to sabotage us here? Only one of us has actually sabotaged their own team, and it's not me. Yeah, but you did sabotage the next step at, in at Nationals by stealing their costumes, so... Wait, was she the one that got them back? I'm re I, I don't remember. I feel like Nationals is just a big blur because it was so overshadowed by Heath and Daisy. Look at Daisy looking at Heath like that in the background. So cute. I don't need this. No, I don't need this. That doesn't look good. That went even better than I hoped. Heath, man. Oh, that's really annoyed me, actually, because Heath knew that she's just trying to get him mad and now he's just walked off. Or Kenzie. Kenzie's your dance captain. She's not re-auditioning for her place on the team. Be like, this is an issue that's been caused and I want to make you aware of it now. Next time Heath walks out, it'll be forever. No. Hey, isn't your group supposed to be working on the dance? Great news. I was annoying Heath so much that he walked out the studio. I think Ariana is going to suddenly have a change of heart and really like it at the next step and realise that, like... Auditions happen. People don't always make it. And Grace will still be fully like, I want to take down the next step. And she's like, I kind of like it, the next step. And I, I feel like that's kind of happened before at some point, but I don't remember. But I think that's the direction it's going to go in. I noticed Heath left the studio a while ago and he looked upset. It's really stressing me out that he's just sat in this diner with no concept of time. Like, how does he know Eldon's not going to start like doing the auditions right now? They haven't been given an allotted like 30 minutes to set it so he can just go back up when he feels ready. Oh, the stress. Well, I don't know if you remember a time when a certain someone wanted to join the team and I was just so positive that this person wanted to bring a troop down so I was stubborn and refused to work with them. And no, Daisy, don't put it in his head that it's just like, oh. I'm not saying that this is the exact same situation but trusting you was the best decision I had ever made. When Maria brought Grace onto our team and made her soloist, someone had to be alternate. I know Grace told Ariana to make me the alternate. I wish Grace didn't have so much power over her. I also think if, well, when Adele makes it onto A Troop and Ariana does, she will speak to her and be like, Grace is just manipulating you. And that will be the start of when Ariana's like, okay, I kind of like it at the next step. I don't want to be on Grace's evil team anymore. But the A-team's obviously powered by jet fuel. That's quite cute, actually. The A-team powered by jet fuel. I like that. Kenzie's literally, like, just sat in the office. She's not taking note of any of these, how anyone's working together or anyone's dance skill. She's literally just going to see them dance it full out. And that's not the most important thing. Like, when you do auditions, you also need to consider how people work together. If there's any tensions between people. If someone is bringing the team down. If someone is struggling to pick up the choreo but then can perform it really well. Like, oh, she's irritating me. I was just worried that my turns wouldn't be good enough. But I think we should put them in. Okay, thank you. Wow, I did not expect this at all from Grace. This is the wrong choice of music. This is like sympathetic music. I don't want to be sympathetic. This, he is being led on. He, this is wrong. Okay, everyone, you had your time. Let's see what you got. Oh, Kenzie, you come out the office now. That's very nice. I need to do everything. Sorry, but that person's still turning when the, the, everyone else had finished. Okay, way to set the, like, the bar. Haha, <laughs> that's the name of the episode. I want to make this team, and I'm not going to let anything stop me. Bring it. We don't have any acro dancers on the team currently. So, that's a little advantage to Olive. I was worried, but he's really shining in this dance. I also think it would have been nice to see Pete interacting with his group and maybe Ebby because she knows Pete from previous season like ask him if everything is okay 
because we've only ever seen Pete like by himself in isolated scenarios. We haven't actually seen how he worked with his group before doing this dance. When I think about things, it makes me never want to dance again. I feel like the wrong bits are being in slow motion as well. Like we just had this in slow motion rather than like their jump. I don't know. These auditions aren't hitting me the same way that they usually do. Adele's an amazing dancer and- Like, why have we just slowed down that little bit? That's not a, like, a memorable moment. Usually it's like the flips that get slowed down. If you told me I'd be hugging Grace today, I'd never believe you. Don't hug! No. That was some of the best dancing I've seen in Studio A, but we only have room for 12 dancers on each group. And we have to make cuts and we need to make them now. We haven't heard anything from about six people, so it's obvious that pe those people will just get got rid of. So we've decided to cut five dancers. Hmm, let me think. What five is it gonna be? I'm gonna say the two that were on Ultra Elite in Heath's group. Three. Four, then there's someone standing behind this really tall person. I'm gonna guess that those are the five that will get got rid of because they didn't have any lines. We need to stay united or we're in big trouble. You'll be fine. Keith, Daisy, Grace, Pete, Izzy, Anthony, Ariana, Olive, Ebby, Jet, Adele, Jonah. Jonah? That means that someone with a name is not making it through. Because I don't know who Jonah is. Brad. Who's Brad? <laughs> what? Okay. TNS. Niall and Ethan. Oh, Xander! Oh, Jet. I don't want Jet to cry. Oh, my God. Oh, Jet and Xander are so cute. For the sake of just putting them through to the next round, why on earth would you choose someone else over Xander when Kenzie's like, Kenzie's the dance captain. Like, you want to try and keep your team. There was no... I just think it's a bit of a, a, a low blow to only get rid of one person off your original team just for the sake of making it to the next round. Like, it's not like this is the new A troop now. You could have just kept him on for the sake of the next round. Because also, it's a bit embarrassing for Xander, like, the whole national team makes it through apart from you. Okay. And I don't know why no one's acknowledging the fact that Xander's been on the show since series two. Like, he was on J Troop. And whether or not that's the same character, I feel like they should have made it the character. And then Xander can be like, I've been at the next step since I was like 10, and now you're just getting rid of me for these other dancers that have walked in. It's, it's such a, like, interesting character point that they could have made it part of his personality. I didn't think my time on H-Troop would end today. To have to walk out as well, uh, yeah, I don't like it. And I, I totally get if they outdanced him, fair enough. But I just think like, at least get rid of him in the next round when you're gonna get rid of more people. I don't know. It's the fact that like Nick, Kenzie and, Nick and Kenzie didn't say anything to him either. They're just like, this is the list, see you later. They could have at least like took him aside and been like, look, I'm really sorry that we had to make this decision. Um, here's your feedback and stuff. <clears throat> oh, thanks, Kenzie. <laughs> she heard me. Actually, I don't know if Kenzie is going after Xander. I think they were just went in the office. I wonder how sad they'll be when I take down the heart of their team. Heath, I'm coming for you. Let's talk about that episode. It wasn't my usual standard of audition episodes, but I feel like it is because I kind of knew who's going to make the team anyway. I just didn't know at what point people would be eliminated. Like, I didn't think Xander would be gone yet, but I knew he'd be gone because he's not in the, the picture. I think it just, it needed a bit more, and I don't like how they introduce characters to us with talking heads before we even know if they're going to make the team because, like, it's, it's pretty obvious now that Olive and Adele will make it because there's been so much drama already established between them and Ariana and they've had talking heads. Kenzie's annoying me with how little she's doing and also how much she's doing. Like, she's not doing her actual job, but she's trying to do the studio heads job as well. Nick had like one line again. 
oh, I don't know how to explain it. It just feels like they're not utilising the people they've got and they've already moved on to the new team too quickly. Like, I, I would much prefer if we didn't really know anything about Adele and Olive until a troops actually established. They could have maybe just exchanged a look with Ariana and it's just said like, oh, those are also ultra elite members. So we don't know if they're going to make it, but everyone seems to have... Yeah, I don't know. I, I reckon at the end of 8B, no, 8, at the end of 9A, I'll rank all of the episodes so far or maybe at the very end of season nine I'll go back through and I'll rank the episodes from worst to best I think I did that for season seven a but I didn't do it for seven b maybe that's an idea if you'd like to see that video of me ranking all the episodes from each season let me know I am currently away on holiday and it's my birthday on the 16th of April so I'm not filming and I'm not editing in that period so I'm hoping I can quickly edit and get videos up while I am gone Currently it's the 8th of April and I'm going to stop filming now because I have other work to do. I'm next to film in like two days so I don't know. If I'm away then that's why. Um, but I hope you enjoy whatever I put up in the meantime anyway. Um, and let me know what you're thinking of the season so far. I'll see you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye!